Hello, my name is Kelly Kelso, and I'm going to be walking you through how to change the layout, the background, the font, and the font colors on your Blogger blog. First of all, you'll need to be logged in to where you can see your blog. And you'll notice that in the top right hand corner, there is a button here that is called Design. When I click on Design, a new window will open. You have several options from this page as to uh, where you can change the look and feel of your blog. You'll notice that if you want to change the template, there are numerous templates down at the bottom that you can change uh, there. We talked about uh, wanting to maybe change the layout. You'll notice on the left hand side there is a layout button and we will come back to this layout but the layout shows us all the different things that we have on our page and we can change that layout if need be. We will talk more about that in other videos. If I look at the template though, uh, notice that here is my live blog and I'm able to go in and customize this blog. So if I click on the customize button, I'm going to uh, open up the web page and I'm going to see that now I have several different uh, options here that I can change. Again, I can change the template from this view. So I find this the easiest uh, place to go because I can change everything within this one page. I can change the template to something different. So if I would prefer to have the blue template, then I can click and I can see at the bottom exactly what things are going to look like. If I want to change the background, I can come in right now. There is no background. But here are some suggested themes that would also give us a background. So if I want to uh, click on one of those suggested themes, let's go with an orange, you notice that the background of the page does change. I can put an image on the background. Um, that I would have to uh, click here and I can click one of the images here or notice I can upload an image when I want to add that image to the background. We talked about the layout um, and we can go in here and we can actually choose some different uh, page layouts uh, of what we want to have. So if I don't like just having the gadgets down the right hand side and you can see that's what's listed here. If I want them on both sides or if I want uh, them to be stacked in some form or fashion, I can go in and I can change that layout of what I exactly want this page to look like. Then under the Advanced tab, the Advanced tab is where I now can go in and control all the colors on the page. Um, I'm going to make this where it's very obvious in the video. Um, of course, you would do some things uh, differently. For the page text, right now it's on Arial, but if I want to change it to Impact, then notice that we're talking about what your actual blog post will look like. I can then uh, go in and I can change the color of this as well. So while I'm on the page text right now, the color is black. Now the template that I've chosen has a lot of different colors here, but I'm not limited to just those colors. I can go in and I can pick any color I want. So let's pick a bright, bright blue. And when we do that, notice now my font has changed to a bright blue. So this is going to give you uh, just a plethora of options on changing colors, changing fonts, uh, changing if it's bold or italicized, and you can go through and on any of these, the gadgets, the header or the footer, what your title looks like, uh, any of the tabs that are listed, anything um, with your blog, you have complete control to make those changes. And again, as you're making those changes, you will see those in your blog so that you know if you want to keep all of those or not. Once you have those set, when I say apply to blog, it is then going to apply those changes. And when my blog goes live, it's going to look quite different than what it did to begin with and I want to view my blog now. And now that I view my blog, there is that blog and I can see the changes that were made. 
that impact font is probably not a good one to use for your text that just so you could see the changes on the page thank you